Leos, here we go with you versus them for the 9th through the 16th. Leo. Let's see. Not Leos. Past situation. Seven of Swords. You felt like somebody was being selfish here. That they did something to you that was very offensive and this person knew exactly what they were doing like they were trying to hurt you. Aquarius energy. Let's see what's going on with them. Ace of Cups. Hmm. Could be a new situation that this person it has involved themselves in. Um, I feel like this person has been hurt though. And this is more about healing than anything for them. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um, they, I'm getting that they felt like, you know, they extended themselves to you emotionally before. And um, it wasn't reciprocated. It was unrequited love. And so I feel like this person, you know, they are going through this process of just trying to, you know, get back get back to normal um i do sense that since you guys parted ways that this person has been doing a lot of work on themselves um they may have felt hurt as well in this relationship okay now I think the difference between your hurt and their hurt as far as the relationship is concerned is that theirs, you know, was more on an emotional level. Um, but yours is more of like this person, you know, they, they kind of fuck with your head or like they outwitted you. They thought they were smarter than you or they thought they were pulling something over your eyes by doing something. So I'm getting a lot of, you know, the way that you guys are looking at this situation is, is quite different. Yours is more mental and theirs is more emotional. Okay. So maybe, you know, at some point, this person felt like, you know, you guys weren't sharing this emotional connection with them and um, you thought it was okay. But then all of a sudden they like, you know, ripped the damn rug from up under you guys here. So that is what I'm getting, this energy. Okay. What's currently going on with my Leos? Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you guys are focused on work. Um, there's something that you're you're striving towards here. You're building upon something, and I think this is all about a culmination of of like you know material goods. Um, it could be money. It could be you know just trying to uh, move into a new home, build a new home. Um, just work on yourselves in general. This is all about you and, and what you're trying to achieve. Okay. A lot of you guys, I, too, I do feel like maybe were the ones that left this situation. Um, and you felt like that was what was best for you. That maybe you needed to venture out on your own to be able to get to a point, uh, the point that you want to get to. But it requires you being like um, single here. Virgo energy. What's currently going on with the other person? The hanged man. Hmm. Physically, this person's restraining themselves from anything. From calling, from texting, from trying to make things work. They are physically like my hands are off of it there's there's nothing else that i can do a uh, very stuck situation where they're concerned okay i don't feel like they're budging i feel like they are definitely working on themselves their their spiritual selves while while they are like not doing anything again they are healing so there's the situation really hurt them whether you guys believe that or not 
or know that. Okay. Piscean energy again. What's influencing Leo's? Four of Wands. Stability. Happiness. Happiness. A lot of you guys, I feel like, maybe have just gotten into a relationship or you're working on yourselves for a relationship. But, um, again, for a lot of you, you felt like you needed to leave a situation to be by yourselves to work on what it is that you are trying to acquire and that for some of you is a new home here it is a new home um building a new home uh, a roommate situation just trying to like you know get your head together so you can accomplish you know your goals <clears throat> aries energy there and maybe what's also influencing you guys is the fact that this person's coming across very happy and content. You know, like they have their shit together. So it's like, you know, I need to get mine together because you think you're the only one that can stunt and shine? Uh, no. So, you know, I, I see that as well here. I don't think they're stunting and shining though. It may appear that way on the outside, but inside it's like, you know, they, they're dealing with something within here. Okay. What's influencing the other person? The Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. I think what's influencing them is that as far as the stuck situation, there was a lack of commitment and stability they feel like um, coming from you guys here. And that's what they want. That's what they require is what I'm hearing. Again, Virgo energy. They require commitment. They require stability. They require loyalty. All of those things that hold a relationship together is what they want. Now, I get that their point of view has changed a little bit. Like, you know, they're not so emotionally needy. They are wanting more of a show and prove as far as... Um, Longevity, time spent, reciprocity, you know, the the more solid and tangible things that that you see in a relationship. Spending time together, showing devotion. I see this coming from uh, the person that is significant to you guys here. What's coming in for my Leos? Six of Cups want to get back together some some of you guys I feel like are getting back with someone or you're proposing to someone um, moving in with someone I feel like this is definitely somebody from the past Scorpio energy here but um, I definitely see that you are missing someone looking back at the past working on something for your future a happy future here and the six of cups is all always like you know someone from um, somebody that you spend a lot of time with it's not just somebody that you you know you had this this fleeting romance with but you know it felt like something different for you somebody that you could be with uh, forever somebody that you spent a lot of time with um, somebody that you felt like was family even Okay. <clears throat> What's coming in for the other person? Two of Swords. Not making a decision. So some of you again are asking someone to marry you, move in, get back together, and then here they come with, I don't know. I'm not sure. Give me a minute to think about it. Okay. Two of Swords not making a decision, refusing to see something, refusing to see that, hey, this can be something. This can definitely be a happy, committed relationship. Hmm. <clears throat> what is the outcome here for Leos? That's Libra energy with the Two of Swords. Outcome for Leos. 
High Priestess. Mm -hmm. Using your intuition, using your heart um, to decide what it is that you really want and what you really want to do. Again, Piscean energy is here. It's the outcome for you. A lot of you guys are just thinking about doing these things, but not speaking about it. With the Six of Cups and the High Priestess, this is like reminiscing. Thinking about the happy times. Thinking about proposing. Thinking about getting back with someone. But still like trying to figure things out. Like what's best for you. Okay. What's coming in? What's the outcome for them rather? What is the outcome for the other person? Outcome for the other person. The Three of Cups. This is them like just doing other things hanging out spending time with friends and family just engaging with other people um so hmm. i get that this person too is in denial they're in denial and i feel like they're really trying not to think about you guys and how important the connection still is um to them and that's why the Two of Swords is here. I don't think that they're really considering that they could be missing you too, for real. Um, I think what they're focused on primarily right now is the fact that um, they want stability and they felt like, you know, it wasn't with you guys. Um, the love was not there coming from you. Like it was from them, but not from you. And um, I think they're changing their perspective on what they they consider love to be here. Three of Cups is Cancer energy. Okay, so that's what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.